Okay. Hello, everyone. In this opportunity, I will talk about a short, quick tutorial on using Dialux Evo for daylighting and artificial lighting simulations. First off, you can choose a little bit from some of the options. I'm going to import a plan. You can also import the IFC if you, if you would want that. Then and then try to find one. If you were to import an IFC file, it should import as an already 3D file, but since we are importing a rather simple drawing file, then we're going to uh, see the process of creating this building from scratch. So basically, mm -hmm. what we want to do for the first step is to draw the origin and the x-axis of the building or the object that you want to, to simulate. Then this is the scale, so it would also help greatly if you were to put the dimensions within the drawing, within the, the plan. And just click here and then just make sure it's to the end. Click here and then specify the length, which is eight meters. And you can enter that, check, then finish. Now we are already inside of the uh, setup. First off, you'd want to click this one and then you can draw a new building. New building will need it to be from the outer perimeter of the outer walls, obviously, right? So you can choose a number of stories, identical stories as we'll have, and the uh, building height. For example, I want this to be 3.5 meters. And then we can just click on the outermost edge of the building. Then we can trace, basically, if you've already got a drawing plan. Like this, and return to the original spot. And that's it, that's done. And then uh, we, we would want to draw new rooms, basically. We can draw a new room, so this is like chiseling out the holes inside of that massive, solid building. So you may choose which rooms to include and which rooms not to include. For example, so room one, which is going to be the bathroom. Sorry, the toilet. <clears throat> we can draw another room. This will be the main hall. Doesn't have to be exactly precise, but it helps. That. Then once it's done, for example, I don't want this uh, stairwell be included within my uh, lighting analysis. So you can see it helps to be precise, but I missed a few spots here. And then the next, we can draw the perches or the openings of the building, the fenestration, basically. There are a few things you may select, depending on what type of windows you use. So they've got a few selections. Maybe if you have some specific type of fenestration in mind, you can put in catalogs and click additional catalogs. For now, I'm just going to go with the standard option. And then to do that is that you want to basically check the height, the sill, and then the width. You can adjust based on the plan that you've already imported. You can click draw new building opening and then just click from edge to edge and it will summon it as such. 
draw a new building opening like this, and then like that. If you've got identical openings, you may select it and then click Control Copy, Control V, and then it will show a duplicate, a duplicate of the the object, and you may drag it to the appropriate location like that. Repeat the process, and then there you have it. And then, for example, if you don't want to follow your plan to the teeth, and then you want some changes made, for example, oh, uh, I don't want these windows to be in my uh, model, for example, you, you want to close them up, perhaps. Then you can just skip them. And you may just carry on and proceed to the other side. That you can also delete or edit the windows as you see fit right here if you want to edit them manually. I'm not going to put all of the windows in, but let's see that and then just like that. And then the next, if you've got a facade element that you want to put into your simulation, into your building, you may uh, load it here. <clears throat> These are the spaces, but usually it's just stupid. If it's simple. These are the elements that you may want to add that uh, is not necessarily on the perimeter or inside of the walls, but if you've got columns inside of the building, inside of the rooms, you've got beams, perhaps, or platform or ramps, you may add them here, which will uh, add the additional elements that will help you better simulate the uh, real life case study. So this is the uh, roof making. For the original, building, there's already a roof building, you, as you can see, so it's just a flat roof, basically a cover so that it's not open. If you want to, to open it up, you can uh, add some skylight later on. So something like this, if you click room, then it uh, shows, dis it displays that, something like that. And if you want to draw a roof, it will be rectangular, obviously. You can uh, select the type of roof that you'd want, and you can either draw it or automatically place it. It will uh, place it in a rectangular pattern. This is a ceiling that you may use. So it's an interior ceiling that you may add inside of your uh, rooms. You can draw the ceiling, for example. If you want to drop down ceiling, like that, perhaps you may edit it later on or redo the, the uh, construction of the ceiling. You just insert ceiling into the room, perhaps. So this will be a recessed ceiling, if you can see that. It's still the same from the outside, but from the inside, it looks like this. So it's the drop-down ceiling that you may uh, edit as you see fit. And this is a cutout, so if you want to cut out a few parts of the model. These are uh, furnitures or objects you can put inside of your rooms. There's a few selections and catalogs, and you may also import them from outside sources. For example, if I'm going to put a table here, you can individually put them like this, or can, in an array, put them like this. 
and you can edit the amounts uh, based on your inputs. The last one is the materials that you may choose. Basically, so some materials you can find in the catalogs. You can click Dialogs Evo Color Catalogs, and it will uh, let you show some uh, examples based on the color of the paints, for example. Click it. You can also uh, pick materials or create color material, like this one. If you're already done customizing your building, we can continue to uh, lightings basically. For daylighter, you don't need to put lightings. You can turn them off, but I advise to just leave it out for the first screening. And then you can just go straight to the light scenes. The location has to be exactly right. For example, I'm going to put it in Jakarta. Like this one, and then the time zone needs to be correct as well. And then we can put some names, or we can just select that as long as that's okay. This is also not point, not uh, arrow. If you have some orientation of the building that you want to customize, is okay as well. Default is up for no light. Back to the light scene, and then you can click here, and it's uh, it's got three settings, clear, average, and overcast. And to click average here, direct sunlight, check, time, noon, check, location, also check. And you can just click entire project, all light scenes, you can simulate it and wait for the results. Once the simulation has been finished, you may check your results. You can see that this room has got already ISO lines that can help you determine which part of the um, working plane, or the viewing plane, is in, you know, which light intensity, for example. Here's a thousand lux, and then here's a hundred and three hundred. So one hundred is three hundred times one thousand. You can edit them manually if you want. Just go to calculation objects. Then you can see the working plane, for example, this one. And there are a few things that you can change, like for example, the font size you said defined. You can change it to a thing along the lines of that's going to be too big, for example. Oh, it's too big. One like that, then you can export it or screenshot it. You can also click it again, and if you don't like it, you don't like the um, ISO lines, you can just choose to use false colors or value chart if you want uh, the grid like pattern. So you can just delete the diagram and redo it again, for example, value charts without the numbers, perhaps delete again. Do that. You can also do it for the, for this space as well. False colors, valid shadows. That's for the daylighting, and then for the artificial lighting, you may temporarily shut them off for now, and then you can create new light scene basically. You can create it individually for a space or a room. You can create anti light scene or to put a light scene. For example, I want to put the light scene for this, which is room two. As for example, I don't want any daylight, and then I want to uh, put some luminaries here, some lamps, basically. 
let's put luminaries and then you can click select and then there are a few options that you may choose you may browse for brands or search manually for certain types of uh, luminaries uh, I've already got I've already got a few options here. This is one of the default ones, I think. As the furnitures, you can input them individually, like this, or you can draw rectangular arrangements for some spaces, for example, like this. This is one of the options, and you can uh, edit this by either clicking it again and changing the um, location some of the uh, what is it uh, lamps you can edit them manually like this or you can uh, click on the the array and then you can change the number of uh, lamps on certain axes you can also change the target uh, light intensity for example, this, this uh, tiger is 500, I can change it to 300 and apply again, it will rearrange the lamps for you. Put 500, apply again, and then it's 620. If you want it higher, you can just edit it manually or change the number of lamps on certain axis, like that one. Another alternative is to uh, choose the automatic arrangements for spaces for example i want to light up this room i want to light up this room with there you go with this standard with, with this target of uh, lux basic and it will show the uh, rough estimate of the average lux being displayed in this room and we can just put This light scene to the simulation. You can just calculate the active light scene only. It will calculate all light scenes. And it will load. It should be relatively quick. Like that, for example. You can see that the uh, innermost circle, let's just uh, change this first. To the diagrams, I want uh, ISO lines first and false color perhaps. The middle is about 600 and then this big area in the middle is 500. And then the rest diminishes until it goes down to 250 and 200 uh, lux. So it's definitely not for everything but you can individually change them and run the simulation again to uh, better improve the optimization of your lighting. You can screenshot it or export the uh, image, basically, but I usually just screenshot it. And there are a few things that you may play around with, but that's the gist of it. And thank you for your attention.